Deep Excav, Soldier Pile Wall Supported by Rakers In this example we will create a Soldier Pile Wall example supported by Raker supports. First of all, in the General tab of Deep Excav, we go here and we change the units to English units. We press Yes and here we can see that the general units have changed. TipExCav works with actual elevations. If we press the Move Model Elevations button here, we can change the general elevation and we set the elevation to 39 feet. We choose to apply this change to all boreholes and we press OK. Here we can see that the general elevation has changed. In DeepXCav we can include many construction stages in the same model. In this initial stage 0 we set our general elevations, the soil properties, the stratigraphy and the wall properties. We go to the properties tab of DeepXCav and we press the Edit Soil Type Data button in order to change the soil properties. In this dialog we have a list with several soil types. We choose to modify the first soil type, which is a fill layer, and we change the unit weight to 120 PCF. We leave the cohesion zero and we change the friction angle to 25 degrees. Next we go to the tab C elastoplastic, we choose to use an exponential soil model and we change the loading elasticity modulus to 300 KSF and for the reloading elasticity modulus we choose to use three times the loading one. Next, we choose to modify the S1 layer. S1 is a sand layer with a unit weight of 130 PCF. Cohesion 0 and friction angle of 32 degrees. In the tab C elastoplastic we choose a loading elasticity modulus of 400 and once again for the reloading elasticity modulus we choose to use three times the loading one. We will use again the exponential soil model. Finally we add a new soil and we name it S2. This is a sand soil with a unit weight of 135 PCF zero cohesion and a friction angle of 32 degrees. Finally, in the tab C elastoplastic, we choose to use an exponential soil model with a loading factor 400 KSF and a reloading factor three times the loading one. And we can press OK. Now we are ready to define the stratigraphy. We go here and we press the button borings. In this dialog, we can set the different soil layers and the soil type of each one. We choose to add the soil layer with a top elevation of 21 feet and we choose to use the layer S2. We add a new layer with a top elevation of minus 1 feet and this will be an S1 layer. We press OK and here we can see the new stratigraphy. In order to change the water elevation we go to the model tab of Tipex Cav and here we choose to set the water elevation to minus 9 feet both on the left and on the right side of the wall. 
Finally, we have to define the wall properties. To do so, we double click on the wall and we change the wall depth to 40 feet. In order to change the wall section, we press the Edit Section Data button here. In this dialog, we choose to use a Soldier Pile and Lagging Wall supported by beams. From the available Soldier Pile list, we choose to use Soldier Piles with a section of 14 times 74. For the steel beam materials, we choose to use steel A50 and we define the horizontal spacing to 6 meters. For the lagging, we choose to use 3 cm timber lagging. We press OK and here we can see our new wall section. We press OK and the wall has changed. Now that we have defined the basic uh, problem parameters, we are ready to go on with our design. We go on the top at the model tab of TipExCav and cho we choose to add a new stage. We can see here that stage 1 is added. In this stage, we choose to excavate on the right side of the wall to the elevation of 31 feet. And we also choose to modify the right surface. We want to make an inclination in order to uh, install our rakers, so by right clicking on the right side of the wall, we choose to set the right slope surface. Here, by angle, we define the slope surface at the angle of minus 35.05 degrees. We press OK, and here we can see that the model is modified. Finally, in this stage, we set uh, construction searchers on the left side of the wall. To do so, we go to the toolbar on the left side of the screen and we choose to add the surface searchers. We click on two points and in the dialog that appears we can modify the basic parameters. We choose our searchers to begin from the X coordinate minus 20.5 and continue until the coordinate minus 0 0.5. And we choose to use a searcher with a magnitude of 0 0.6 KSF. We press OK and here we can see that the new searcher is added. Next, we choose to add a new stage and in this stage we will set the raker support. To do so, once again, from the toolbar on the left side of the screen, we choose to add a raker. First, we click on the wall and next to the ground. We set the Z coordinate on the wall to 33 we will use a free length of 45 feet, an installation angle of 145 degrees, the horizontal spacing is set to 12 feet, and we press the Edit Structural Section button in order to edit the Raker section. Here we choose to add a new strut section, we choose to use a steel eye section, and we use a section of W14 
times 109. We press OK. And from the list we choose to use this structural section. We press OK and here we can see that the raker is modified. We add a new construction stage and in stage 3 we choose to excavate on the right side of the wall to the elevation 19 feet and we change the right slope surface by angle minus 15.027 degrees we press OK and we add a new stage in stage 4 we add a new raker. Once again from the toolbar on the left side of the screen we press to add a new raker, we first click on the wall and next on the ground. In the dialog that appears we can modify the raker properties. We place the raker to the elevation 23 feet on the wall, we use a free length of 40 feet, an installation angle of 160 degrees, and a horizontal spacing of 12 feet. Here we choose to use the structural section W14 times 109 as before and we press OK. We add the new stage and in stage 5 we excavate on the right side of the wall to the elevation 9 feet and we set the right slope surface to 0. This is our final model. By adding a new stage and from the analysis tab of TPEXCAV only this stage we can change the active pressures from the driving side and use FHWA apparent. From the design tab of TPEXCAV here from the code options we can choose to use uh, US allowable settings. In TPEXCAV we can uh, choose to use limit equilibrium method for the analysis or non-linear method with the use of Wickler springs. In addition in TPEXCAV we can use more than one design sections in the same model. We can go here to the design sections area and with right click we can choose to add a new section. If we go to base model and we right click we can edit the section name. We will rename this section to limit equilibrium. We press OK and we also rename the new section and we name it nonlinear. Here we have the two sections. If we go to the limit equilibrium one and from the analysis tab of TPEX CAV, here we can choose to perform a limit equilibrium method. In the non-linear we choose to perform beam on elastoplastic foundations method which is the non-linear method with the use of Wickler springs and we use a mesh delta of 0 0.25 feet. In both methods we will add a wall friction as a percentage of soil friction and we choose to use 50%. We apply the same change to the limit equilibrium method.
And now we are ready to proceed with the calculations. We press this button in order to analyze all design sections. After the calculation is succeeded, we can see the analysis and checking summary table with various results. We can see the results in the results tab of DPEX-CAV. We can see several results for all construction stages and all design sections. By pressing here, we can see the wall moments. We can see the wall moment diagrams with minimum and maximum values and the red lines indicate the wall capacity. We can see the results for each construction stage. In the same way, we can see the results for the nonlinear method. We can also see the wall shear with the shear capacity. Again, with every method and every stage, we can see the wall displacements. We can see the soil horizontal pressures. the total vertical pressures and the effective vertical pressures. Thank you for watching this video. Visit our webpage in order to download a free trial version of our software program and please feel free to contact us.